Is your mailbox stuffed with wedding invites just waiting for an RSVP? Well, you are not alone. Summertime is the season. A lot of people say I do, you know, and if you're stumped on what to get the newlyweds, like a lot of us are, well, you're not. Our gift giving guru here, <laughs> Ashley Hesseltine, editor for Daily Candy Atlanta and Lifestyle Blogger, is here to join us. So thanks for being yeah. here. We've got a lot to cover here. First, the big question is does it matter how well you know the couple, whether or not you give them a gift? I think so. I think that you should always give a gift and kind of the range, I would say $75 for that baseline. If you know them a lot better, they're your best friends, they're relatives, you can get more in the 100 to 150 or you really don't know them that well, uh -huh. you're kind of wondering why you got an invite in the yeah. first place, you're good with the $50 So even gift. if you're on a budget, can you make something or is that a... Oh yeah, You're just, like... you know, make them like some friendship bracelets. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, gifts are always appreciated. I think people understand, especially yeah. if they're getting married young, that their friends might not have any money. So I think it's always, any gift is appreciated. Yeah. We have some fun Cuisinart um, kitchen wares. I think there's a mixer and a uh -huh. hand mixer. So those are fun and they're colorful. If the couple's like young and fun and hip, you might want to get something in like a fun tropical color. Mm -hmm. The Keurig. Yes, you're gonna. I coffee. can't live without my Keurig. <laughs> so if this is something they've registered for and it's in your budget, you know these are usually in the 100 to 120 range. Get it for them. It's gonna be very sad if they okay. registered for their Keurig and didn't get it. Are linens price a range. safe bet? Linens are the ones they've registered for. So um, <laughs> and they can get pricey if you want to go in with a friend. Even that's totally mm -hmm. acceptable. And towels, these great. If you can feel these, these are super yeah. soft. They are usually Ooh, they are. less expensive. So. They're okay. good. You can always go the towel route. And to the bubbly. What's yes, this all about? If they are wine lovers, <laughs> your options are endless. So I think we have an aerator and a preserver. We just threw a, a bottle in there. So well, to keep these the are, wine fresh for exactly. almost forever. <laughs> almost as long as the marriage. <laughs> exactly. But they're $25 and $30. Oh, this cork sickles 15-ish. So you could pair it with a bottle of wine and you uh -huh. have yourself a great gift. If you can't make it to the wedding. Do you get off the hook for getting a gift? Uh, I mean, if it's somebody that, you know, relatives, close friends, and you can't make it to the wedding, I think you're going to want to send yeah. a gift. But if you don't, I mean, it's not the end of the world. Okay. You're so. A nice card. That's yeah, a nice card. Says. A nice card is, you know, <laughs> that's okay. Um, is there an expiration date on the gift giving? Because some people say you have up to a year. <laughs> a year. <laughs> I just gave one, like, on their one-year anniversary. I think just in this day and age, it's so much easier to get online. With the click of a button, you've sent them a gift. So I think three months is the new time limit. Okay, we appreciate yeah, it. Yeah. Ashley Hessel time. Thank Gifts are you. always appreciated. So Yes, they are. <laughs> and make sure you join us for more tips every week of this month. Um, we're checking out all things